Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the absolute state of me. I've had the laziest morning ever. So it was my birthday yesterday. Oh, do I want my hair up or not? I feel like it looks better down, but it's a mess. You know when you're just like all over the place. But anyway, yeah, it was my birthday yesterday and then today, like it wasn't even a crazy day. Like we went up north. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you what we did. If you wanna know what we did, I also vlogged it so you can go and check it out. But yeah, we didn't have a crazy day. Like, it's not like I was like, I'm not hungover or something. I think I had one drink. <laughs> I just feel really like, you know, you, you just wake up on those days and you just feel really, really tired. And yeah, that was me this morning. So I've had the laziest morning. It's currently about okay, half 12 in the afternoon. And I've literally done nothing. I've been sitting watching TikToks and YouTube videos <laughs> all morning. So <coughs> that's been my day today. But now I need to get on with actually getting ready. So yeah, I always like take the start of the festive season as once my birthday is over. So yeah, as I said, yesterday was my birthday and today is Sunday the 29th of November. So that means it's the start of the festive season for me. So yeah, we might put our tree up today, I'm not 100% sure. But this is going to be like the first sort of like christmasy vlog so if you've watched some of my other videos you'll have heard me say that i want to upload every day in december but i'm not 100 percent sure how it's really gonna work yet so it's not gonna be vlogmas because my schedule this year doesn't wouldn't work with vlogmas but it'll be like a mix match of different videos so this is gonna be the first not the first vlog in it because my birthday vlogs are gonna be like some of the uploads in december but this is like the first sort of like vlogmas vlog if that makes sense. The first sort of like properly festive vlog. Although I don't know how festive it's actually going to be. But anyway, yeah. It's a Sunday mo Sunday afternoon now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon and I really need to get ready. As you can see, I'm still in my pyjamas. I've got no makeup on. I just um, did my skincare. So I'm going to do my makeup and I wanted to come on because I was very kindly sent a Roy kit by the lovely Chloe Henning. She is a makeup artist from Northern Ireland and she sells like different beauty kits and um, one of the things she sells is this brow product and she was like oh um, I think you'd like it because if you watched a few videos Google you'll have seen that I was running out of my Benefit Cabroi and she was like oh I saw you were running out I think you'll like this so she very kindly sent me it's called Blinken brows and I thought I'd come on to try it out because I haven't used it yet. It arrived yesterday so it was like a nice sweet birthday surprise and I thought I'd try it out with you guys. So yeah, this is like a brow powder which I kind of like because I was using a pomade and I like a pomade but the only thing I can't really get on board with is a pencil. But yeah, I'm gonna try this out. I feel like powder's quite forgiving. I don't know whether to use this brush or whether to use my own brush. Sure, for testing purposes, I'll use this brush. So it comes with, this is the box. Basically it comes in and it comes with like an eyebrow shaper, arch shaper sort of thing. I think I'm gonna give that a go. And then obviously the brush and then the brow powder with a wee mirror, it's very cute. And then, ooh, the actual powder is in here so you get two different shades and you can sort of mix them together or just go for whatever shade suits you and then you also get this little uh brush and spoolie thing so yeah i suppose we'll try it out okay so i just sort of plucked out a few annoying like little stray hairs and now i'm just gonna like spoolie my brows upwards i don't really know why i do this i suppose it just like gives them a better shape i think i saw it somewhere and now i do it it's just one of those things like I feel like I learn everything off the internet but yeah now I'm gonna grab the arch shaper yeah and try and see which one because there's two different shapes so I'm gonna try and see which one like matches my brow better okay so we have this one or I feel like this one's more more me so yeah I'm gonna use this brush the bigger one and go in let's go right in the middle with the two colors i have no idea if this is how you're meant to do this by the way i'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a 
a try out, you know. <laughs> if Chloe's watching this, she'll be like, that is not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> right, so my brow definitely looks pretty good through the uh, shaper thing, but I'm really worried that I've completely botched this when I actually like take this off. Okay, so it's like just a slightly better shape than my like natural brow. And then I think, because my brow just goes a little bit lower, as you can sort of see, just at the end there. I don't know how well you can see that, I think you can see that quite well on camera. So I think I might just adjust that end bit to my natural brow. And yeah, that's, that's the brow so far. And then I think I'm just going to add in like my own sort of handiwork without using the shaper. I feel like that looks pretty good. It like matches my hair so much better than my cabroi because I obviously got the cabroi when I had blonde hair so I was trying to like lighten up my brows a little bit so I feel like this actually matches the darker hair a lot better. You see what I mean? Powder's really forgiving so like if you make a mistake you just literally rub it off. So yeah there's the difference. I really really like that. I feel like it, gives, it has actually given my brow a way better shape. Wow, like look at the difference. Okay, so let's try the other brow. I feel like this brow is actually more that shape. Can you do the two different shapes together or is that really weird? Oh sure, let's give it a go. Do you know what, I think we're actually gonna go with this one. I'm just like, yeah, we're gonna go with this one because I want my brows to look the same. Okay, so I'm just gonna like fill it in with oil, the art shaper and see how it goes. And then we'll just sort of spoolie it. I feel like I've messed this one up a little bit more. Here I got a bit cocky after the first one turned out quite nice. But I do feel like I can sort of adjust it when I put foundation etc on. So yeah, there is the brows so far. I definitely did this one a lot better than I've done this one. But as I said, I will fix it up when I put on my foundation etc and I'm gonna do that now and I will show you guys when I've got all my makeup done. So there is all of my makeup done. I also got dressed um, and I'm in probably the coziest outfit ever right now. I'm just, it's just one of those days. Look outside. We've got a grey Sunday going on so I just want to be cozy. So I've got on my Levi's oversized hoodie it's not actually oversized i think i just bought a large <laughs> um or a medium i don't know just a bigger size than my size um because i wanted it to be cozy and there's nothing worse than a tight hoodie like you know when a hoodie like scrunches up and it's like no hoodies need to be loose <laughs> and then i've got on my pre-mark oh dear that's my foot my pre-mark leggings with the fleece lining on the inside I've had these for like two years and they're the best thing for this time of year and then a sports bra because it's also the time of year also because my spinning classes aren't on which is sad but um sports bras to me currently are a comfort thing more than something to do sport in I'm not gonna lie so yeah I've got my my comfy clothes on and I finished my makeup and as you can see I feel like the eyebrows look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. I suppose they'll go. I would say get on with the day, but the plans are minimal. I have a few videos to film because, as I said, I want to get a video up every day in December. So I'm really going to need to crack on with that um, to kind of, so as I don't fall behind. And yeah, that is the life for today. Also, yeah, I haven't done anything at all with my hair. I'm not going to because I've used a serious amount of heat on my hair recently and it could do with a break so I'm not doing anything today so the hair's being being left alone for the day. You don't even know me like that Are you past my time? Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that 
Staying up all night, throwing drinks by. Good evening, folks. It's a good while later now. It is half six, and the last time I filmed was lunchtime when I was making my lunch, and now I've like had my dinner and cake, finished my birthday cake, it was delightful, and uh, filmed the what I got for my birthday video. So, as you can see, my bed is currently a mess, and I need to tidy that up <laughs> before I do anything else. So, yeah, not a massively productive day, but I did get a video filmed, so I'm pretty happy about that. At least I got something done, and yeah, just needed, you know when you just need a lazy day, when you're just like not, not feeling, doing a lot of stuff, yeah that was me today. So I'm gonna tidy all this stuff up, oops, off my bed, so as I can at least sit on it, I'm not, oh, not, um, have nowhere to like place myself. Also, I have taken my dad's table my dad got a new uh table for beside his bed so i've taken his bedside table that's the word and no i am using it so it's actually nice to have a table a bedside table i have never never had a bedside table actually i was gonna say since i lived here but i've never not even before i lived here oh my goodness i'm bleeding that didn't take too long to tell you on the bed actually we're at 2 minutes 18 on the camera and that includes all the talking so I think that took about a minute in total. So I'm pretty proud of that. We're just doing that right now. I want to continue this lazy Sunday and watch more YouTube <laughs> because that's where I'm at right now. Good evening pals. The lighting in Adam's room is absolutely horrendous. It's a bit better like that. But yeah, it's a good while later on. It's about 10 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. 10 past 10. And as you can see I'm with Wally 76 Hello. And is that why he made you Instagram private? Because I keep saying it <laughs> in YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, I'm at Adam's house. How are you today? This is going to be like the first, well this was meant to be the first festive vlog and I was going to put the tree up and all and that didn't really good plan. It's not really been the most festive. We could drive past that house again to make it a little more, a little more festive. There's a really Christmassy house near where Adam lives. And also my Amazon parcel arrived today. I didn't really order. When was the last time I ordered anything from Amazon? I'm not really an Amazon shopper. Like I never shop on Amazon. You know there's these people who are like flat out on Amazon. I just never have been. But there was a couple things I was looking and they arrived tonight at on a right a Sunday. They arrived on a Sunday night at Amazon big private delivery now. It's so coffee. weird though. Okay. I think that's really bad though, like arriving at half nine on a Sunday night. Yeah. Like, especially for, like, elderly people. Like, I do think there should be a time frame. Like, sure, deliveries like finish at 6 or something. You man landed the door at 5 to 8 last Sunday. Near broke the door. Yeah, I, I think that's really bad. Like, I definitely think... Like, going by that, he could literally arrive at midnight. Yeah. That's not good. But anyway, my Amazon parcel arrived, so that is good. And... I'm gonna go home and show you what I ordered and unpack it and check it and all with you guys. I'm not gonna use it tonight, but I'm sure I'll use it soon. I ordered two things. Hmm. What are you playing? I'm trying to learn, but it's not going well. What is it? I learned, you know. Lovely. So yeah, that's the crack. It's been a pretty uneventful day, but I think both of us just needed a pretty uneventful day, to be honest. And I also found out the full moon, it, it says it's at 9.30 a.m., but I think it's considered then the 30th. So then I'll do my intentions and stuff like that. My full moon ritual tomorrow, so that'll be in tomorrow's vlog. It, I don't know what way I'm putting these up, but it'll be in like the day after today's vlog. So yeah. What do you think of my eyebrows, by the way? I use my new brow product. Oh, lovely. I feel like they look a really good shape. 
because I used that arch thing, you know, the thing I got out yesterday. Yeah, but my camera's flashing and I really want to show you this Christmas house. So I'm going to switch you guys off for now and the next thing you see is the Christmassy house. So they sadly have their lights switched off but you can sort of see them. Like you can, they've got loads and loads of decorations. But um, yeah, all the lights are switched off so you can't really see them but keep tuned on Vlogmas and I will show you again because it's literally right beside Adam's house so no doubt we will be back and I'll show you them then. So I'm just home and here is my massive Amazon box with the things I ordered in it. And first up we have this Hadion, Had Hadion milk frother, right? So I saw this on TikTok, right? TikTok is way too much influence in my life at the minute, but apparently it's meant to do the same thing as a hot chocolate filtertizer. And like the Hotel Chocolat filtertizer, and it's like over 100 pound. And this was about 30. So I really wanted the Hotel Chocolat filtertizer for months, like months and months and months. Um, but I was just kind of like, it was one of those things where I was like, is it worth a hundred pound to make hot chocolate? And I was like, hmm, no. But then I saw this and this was 30 pound. I was like, I can make coffee with this. I can make hot chocolate with this. And if it lives up to the hype, then I'm pretty happy about it. And then I can get hotel chocolate, hot chocolate to put in this. So I'm kind of buzzing about that. This is what it looks like. Obviously it doesn't have the pretty copper look of the hotel chocolate velvetizer, but sure for like 70 pound less, I don't think I'm going to complain about that and it comes with like a wee washer thing as well so that's pretty cool and then instructions, free gift ooh, what's my free gift? that's actually class you, like these are, you get a free gift with this and they're like cool gifts an oil diffuser Bit like essential oils mm. or a coffee grinder. Quite cool. So that's the first thing I ordered. I'll test it out uh, in the morning. I don't feel like making anything now because one, I'm really tired, and two, I'm not going to drink coffee before I go to bed. Um, but I'll make some coffee in the morning and I'll froth up my milk. So if you want to see how this works, make sure to check out. The next vlog must it'll be Monday the 30th so make sure to check out that day if you want to see how that works and then the other thing I ordered is absolutely stupid but I won't do that so I just went for it basically I wanted these two things basically for the whole of November and I had them in my wish list and then I didn't buy them and I was like, do you know what? It's my birthday, I might as well buy myself a birthday present too. I got this Beautify, it says on the front. It is a Parisian cocktail set. Obviously, Christmas drinks out are not going to happen this year. And then I followed this person again on TikTok who um, was making really cool cocktails and I was like, I want to give that a go. And also Francesca McKee. That girl's been making the most insane cocktails all over lockdown and she just makes me want cocktails all the time. And like you can read cocktail book. So this is everything you get. I'm so nice in rose gold. So you get all your bits for your cocktail, you get a strainer. I don't really know what this is. Your like plunger thing, your shot glass, and obviously your actual shaker. So yeah, that's that and I really need pee, so I'm gonna go. But oh no, I think I'm just gonna bring this vlog to an end here because that's the end of the day, pretty much. So I'm gonna head to bed soon. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to head down below this video, massive thumbs up, and subscribe because I put videos every day in December. Bye.